Alright guys, today I'm going to be showing you a really cool card trick that you could do when you can have the spectator pick any card they want to. So let's say uh, we start off the trick and the spectator could pick this card here from the middle. It's a completely random choice. In this case, let's say we have the Jack of Diamonds here. You tell them you're going to leave their card in the middle of the deck just like that. You're going to leave it on the table. You're going to snap your fingers and just like that, hopefully, as you guys can see also, I have no breaks. Let's see if I can get that card to flip over. So if we go spread to the deck. You guys can see that one card has actually revealed itself to us. And now if you're doing this with spectators, obviously you could say, you know what, look, your card has flipped over. And then, you know, they would tell you that, you know, this isn't their card. So you say, you know what, you know, if this isn't your card necessarily, this might be an indicator card. Um, this is basically going to tell us where your card is in the deck. So this, in this happens, or in this case happens to be a five. So you say, you know what, it might be five cards down. So you take one, two, three, four, and the fifth card here. Is going to be the spectator's card and not only is their card going to be five cards down but the four cards in between also happen to be the four aces so this is a trick guys and if you want to do it don't forget to stick around for the tutorial all right so the good part about this trick is that there's barely a setup at all um, basically all that you have to do is stick the four aces on the bottom of the deck so here's the four aces and you stick the five or any five face up on the bottom with the aces below that so basically like I said the setup is really it's really nothing so this could be the first card trick that you perform and you go up to somebody um, so let's say you know you obviously have this setup this is gonna be the first trick you perform to them and then this is how you do it. you can basically have them pick any card that, that they want to pick here in this case let's say we have this card and you can take it out and you kind of want to leave the deck separated a little bit that way you kind of give um, the spectator an option to put their card up here and then you're gonna close the gap so here's what I mean so let's go ahead um, now in performance, I actually did look at the card, but when you're doing the trick guys, make sure that, you know, this is one of those types of tricks where the spectator isn't supposed to show you uh, their card. So they take their card, they look at it. In this case, let's say we have a 10 of diamonds here. So they're going to be holding on to their 10 of diamonds. You say, okay, go ahead and put it back in the deck. We're going to put it in the middle. So the spectator, make sure to uh, may have them put their card right here, the 10 on the pile where the aces aren't. So technically this is going to be like the top of the deck. You say, okay, go ahead and put your card in the middle. And what you're going to do is just put the four aces and the five on top of their card. So it's really simple. You just kind of close up the deck and you can leave this on the table. You can snap your fingers, do whatever you want and say, no, hopefully when I snap my fingers, the card actually reversed itself. So then you can go like this. You can say, okay, let's go ahead and see where your card is. And you slowly spread through and you say, okay, look, there's only one card in the deck that seems to be face up. And, you know, you kind of play it off like this is their card. And you can move all the cards from the top. You can move that to the bottom, making sure the five is on the top. And then, you know, the spectators are going to tell you, you know, this is my card. So you say, you know what? Well, maybe this is going to be an indicator card telling me, you know, where in the deck your card actually is. So in this case, you know, you tell the spectators you have a five. So you say, you know what? Maybe your card is five cards down. So you take one, two, three, four. And those top four cards happen to be the aces. And then you can get down to the last card. The fifth card is going to be theirs, whatever their selection might be. So this is basically the trick, guys. Like I said, it is super, super simple. And that's why I put the title, you know, the best card trick for going up, uh, back to school. Because honestly, you can have this set up right before you get to school. You can take the deck out and show literally anybody this trick and it will impress them. So I hope this trick works out for you guys. And as always, thanks for Hillary Carford, she's a little old man. Oh, oh, belly goblin, hobbling, bouncing after your mama. Ah, oh, let's go and give it to you.